nobody wants these, y'all, because it is 5.57 p.m. on a Monday, so nobody wants these. <laughs> hey, y'all, I am in TJ Maxx, and look at these cute aprons. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> these are so cute. And you have one with the reindeer, and it says Believe. And then we have another one over here with some mittens and hats that say happy holiday. Well, oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, if y'all hear that noise, somebody's behind me with the basket, okay? But I might have to get one of these. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome to the shop with me portion of today's video. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you all had a very happy Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoyed the day with your families. And if you do not celebrate Thanksgiving, then I hope you just had a wonderful and happy day. Today, y'all, I have some things that I want to share with y'all. Now, this week, it has been very, 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 very dry in Dunland and Joanna Parker land around these parts, y'all. What you guys saw on Monday and Tuesday, or Monday, Tuesday was it? The little shiny red canisters, that was about the only decent thing that I saw this week and some of that footage that you guys saw, uh, I did take last week in. So, you know, it is what it is. Anywho, I want to say hi. How are you all doing to all of the new subscribers? I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. Uh, I am loving having you guys here. And I do hope you all stick around. Also, I want to give a shout out. Y'all, why didn't someone tell me that I was forgetting to give shouts out? I said I wanted to start doing that and I have just been forgetting. Now, I did not forget last week, y'all. So, uh, or the other day, I didn't forget. But I want to uh, continue to give my shout outs. I love doing that, y'all. Anywho. Today's shout out goes to Dan Ubach or Dan Ubach. I hope I, I, hope I got one of those right, Dan. <laughs> anyway, uh, Dan said, Love your channel. I think it would be great if all of the Ray Dunn collectors would do a collab video, maybe a Christmas home tour. This will give everybody more exposure and y'all have so much more to offer besides Dunn. I watch Tish, Shorty Tam, Natasha, Jamie, Felicia, and Daniel. I love the vintage Santa mugs. Now, Dan, I think that that is a wonderful idea. I think that would be so much fun. Uh, I know a lot of the ladies have already decorated their homes for Christmas, but as you can see, it's still fall going on up in here. <laughs> I like to do my fall videos. I mean, I like to do my Christmas videos uh, for um, Vlogmas. So that is something to think about. Now, I don't even know if any of these ladies are still watching my channel. I know Felicia does and I know Daniel does, but I'm not sure about anybody else. But ladies, Dan has put it out there. So we should get together to do that Christmas home tour. It's for the subscribers, y'all. It's for our subscribers. They want to see a Christmas tour. Now, I know some of the ladies are busy, and I know that Tish has something personal going on in her life. You know, maybe we could do something uh, for Easter or for the spring or the summer, or maybe we could do the Christmas tour. I'm not sure, but uh, that is something that I would really, really love to do. And then I also want to give a shout out to Susan KJ88. Susan says, I enjoyed this so much, Lisa. Thank you. I love Daniel's channel too. It's wonderful to see vintage treasures appreciated. One of the many things I collect is little goals and books. And after seeing some in your video, I'm inspired to display my festive titles during Christmas. Looking forward to following you through Vlogmas. Thank you, Susan, so much. Uh, I love doing Vlogmas. Now, I do not do a full 25 days. I try to do at least 10 days. 
sometimes 15 but 25 days is just too much it's just too much girl and y'all don't want to see me every day for 25 days straight <laughs> but i am looking forward to vlogmas and i am so glad that you are looking forward to vlogmas as well <laughs> I had to change the battery real quick, so if I look a little different or if the position has changed, that is why the camera was blinking at me. So yeah, we had to change that battery. Anywho, y'all, um, half of the stuff my dumb buddy picked up for me, and then half of it I picked up. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started with the things that my dumb buddy picked up for me, y'all. And y'all, she got me some good stuff this week, so the first thing we're going to start with is this sweet but twisted canister the baby canister y'all it is a peppermint canister i'm assuming i you know uh, anywho i was excited when she picked this up for me y'all i was like omg i really wanted those but last year y'all for our family pajamas we had uh, got some peppermint pants from old navy and we had t-shirts made that said sweet but twisted. So <laughs> when I saw this canister, I thought it was too, too far. <laughs> anyway, she picked that one up for me. And then she also picked up, or I wouldn't say she picked this up. I was in the store when she got this one, y'all. Uh, candy canes. There was only two of them that came to the store that day. And she got one and then her friend got one. But she ended up passing this one on to me, y'all, because she really only wants to collect green and she knew uh what theme that i was doing for my hutch this year so she was nice enough to give this to me which i thought was so sweet because i was like you don't have to do that you can keep it if you want it but like i said she's really trying to do green i don't even know why she picked it up y'all but she gave it to me so <laughs> i'm thankful y'all always thankful for that the next piece she picked up for me, y'all, is another Frosty mug. The one that says Jolly, Happy, and Fun. Is that what they say? Yes. <laughs> Jolly, Happy, and Fun, y'all. I am so excited to be getting these blue pieces, y'all. Just to have some more blue pieces for the winter-themed hutch, I think it's just so much fun. Oh, look at the flower on the little hat, y'all. It's blue. I didn't even realize that it was blue. But anyway, I am just happy to have more blue things for the winter themed. I did not have very many things for the winter themed hutch last year. I ended up using a lot of my uh, blue Easter items that I had. So I am so excited to be getting all of the blue things, y'all. So excited. Now, I was watching um, Na 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 Tasha's video the other day. And she does not like the blue, but I'm like, I love the blue for winter. I just think that it is just the perfect color for winter. Not necessarily for Christmas, but for winter, I think that it was the perfect color. Now she sent me a text y'all, and the text says, hey, I got Mrs. Claus teapot, Olaf mug, Frosty mug, with red handles. So y'all, this is the frosty mug with the red handle. Happy birthday. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? And every time I see this, all I can think about is I'm saying, happy birthday. Y'all, I love these so, so much. I used to wait for these cartoons to come on during, um, Christmas time when I was younger. I still wait for them to come on y'all because I love them, love them, love them so much. My kids don't enjoy them as much as I did when I was a kid. They watch them, but, but they don't enjoy them as much as I did. They have a different, a totally different vibe of cartoon that they watch these days y'all. But anywho, I still enjoy them. But uh, the point that I was getting when I read that text y'all is that I thought that this right here was a mug. So when I pulled it out of the packaging, I was feeling for the handle, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is a canister, this is not a mug. I was totally looking for a mug, y'all. But when I pulled this out the bag, I was like, oh my 
god i was not expecting this at all i was expecting another mug now y'all i was not going to keep this i was not even interested in this i was going to give this to somebody but because i am having a little grandbaby soon uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep this because he might be into Olaf one day and it will be fun just to have it around in case that he does like Olaf. And Olaf will be cute to go into the winter themed hutch along with Frosty. Now, she also picked these up for me, you guys. Well, I was in the store when they picked these up, but they grabbed all of them and they handed me one. So technically I was in the store, but technically she gave them to me. So I don't know, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> right? I, I'm thinking about it too much, right? <laughs> but anywho, I wasn't interested in this either, y'all. I told Felicia, oh no, I'm not interested in the Penguin Collection. I think I'm gonna pass on that. But y'all, when they handed me this box, and I looked at these little penguins. I was like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. <laughs> y'all, these are so cute. I'm like, oh my God, oh my gosh, y'all, I want more of this collection. Oh my gosh, if I could get that creamer set, y'all, I want that creamer set. <laughs> and then I want the other little cookie jar, but you know, probably won't get those, y'all, because, uh, I had gone into the store, y'all, and this guy was at the register when I walked in. Yeah, his basket was full of the penguin stuff. I was like, <laughs> but that's okay, y'all. That's okay. <laughs> My dumb buddy did pick this up for me as well. How cute is he? He's not the little short, fat, stubby one that I wanted, but he is just as cute. And like I always say, beggars cannot be choosy when it comes to this stuff, y'all. You got to get what you can get. But I love him anyhow. So cute. <laughs> y'all, it's so funny. I was so upset that that guy had taken all of the penguin stuff. When I, I y'all, I was five, 10 minutes behind him, y'all. I stopped and got some air in my tire. And I stopped at Kohl's that morning. Usually I go from one store to the next, but no, I had to stop and get some air in those tires, girl. Anywho, I was so upset, like I was saying, but uh, I had, came home and you know i got dressed and got myself ready for work and then i said you know what i'm gonna leave here a little bit early i'm gonna make some stops and y'all i stopped at the home goods down the street from my job and he was sitting on the shelf he or she now some people calling this laughing luna teapot so is laughing luna a girl or is laughing luna a boy. I don't know, but anyhow, found this cute little thing sitting on the shelf. Y'all, I was so excited. I was like, oh, OMG. Y'all, it was 12.45, and you say at 12.45, when I walk in there, it ain't nothing on them shelves. But, but for whatever reason, uh, they had put these on the shelf. I don't think they kinda know what Joanna Parker is. So they don't specifically put these things out in the morning. They put them through, out throughout the day. So I got lucky enough to have walked in there and picked up this cutie right here. So even though I had missed out on all of the other penguin stuff that day, I still came out on top, I think. <laughs> all right, y'all, now we're going to get into the stuff that I picked up. And you guys saw these right here in a shop with me and I had to pick these up y'all look at Mrs. Claus look how she looking at Mr. Claus she looking at him like look you better get them toys to them kids at midnight you better bring me some home to eat when you get home something but she is giving him the side eye y'all and I was like OMG I have got to get these Christmas towels <laughs> they are just too dang on cute <laughs> 
And then I also picked up these hand mittens, y'all. I love these. I use these around my house, just the plain old uh, black and white ones. So I thought it would be cute to add some in for Christmas decor. So I did pick up these as well. And you guys saw this right here in the shop with me. This is the Baby Winter Wonderland. There were only two of these on the shelves. I got one and then my dumb buddy got one. But y'all, I don't like the luster on this right here. So I have seen videos where people take the luster off of these canisters. I'm gonna see if I can order that stuff that I saw her use in the video to see if I can get this luster off. But if I don't get it off y'all, it may just be in the hutch like this. <laughs> It is blue and this is my very first blue winter uh, canister. The canister that I used last year was just my uh, Robin, no not my Robin's egg, it was uh, my blue Easter, what is that canister? So y'all I can't, I don't even remember what it says right now. But I just turned it around. But now I have a blue winter themed canister. Now I also have another one. Uh, Felicia got me one the other day, the one with the, um, I think it says snow day with the little red uh, snowman on top. Uh, I'm telling y'all that because this is more than likely going to be my very last Christmas Ray Dunn haul because y'all I have so much right now and um, they have put out some new stuff y'all. I saw a brand new green canister and I saw a brand new baby peppermint canister. But like I said, I have enough, unless they bring out that Believe canister with the snowman. I'm talking about the white and blue one, y'all. I'm not talking about the red and white one. I'm talking about that blue and white one. <sighs> unless they bring that out, <laughs> I have enough, y'all. I have too much. Now, I told you guys that I was not going to be hunting uh, Joanna Parker items. But if I came across them, I would, you know, pick them up. So, I did see these right here. They were sitting on the shelf one day. Again, y'all, on my lunch break. On my lunch Which break. Which is just so surprising to me because I hardly ever find anything on my lunch break. But I have been getting lucky so far. But anywho, uh, pick these up and y'all, I haven't seen any chips or cracks on any of this stuff yet. So it looks to be in good condition so far. Uh, we shall see. <laughs> and then I was in Marshall's one day, went in there on, I think it was Saturday I went in there because I went to the vintage uh, market afterwards. But I found only one of these on the shelves, y'all. It is the little clear jar with the snowman. And y'all, I have a thing for snowman. Uh, this did not have a ticket on it, so they just gave it to me for $4.99. They just, you know, went and picked up a jar that was in the back. She was looking for another one of these, but she couldn't find it. I was like, girl, I've been looking for the other two. It ain't none back there. So she just picked up a random uh, clear jar which was $4.99 and that's the price that they gave it to me. So, so excited to have this one. Now y'all, y'all know that I have loved Joanna Parker before Joanna Parker was popular. I have loved Joanna Parker for years. My friend Bethany from the Pink Hutch is the one that got me into Joanna Parker. She used to collect it years ago. She even told me that they had the things in Ross years ago. And just all of a sudden, uh, Dunn Hunters and Dunn Lovers just started falling in love with Joanna Parker. Uh, so, Joanna Parker for me is something that I have always loved, y'all. Uh, now, I went to uh, open it on Saturday as well. And this was the only thing in the store, y'all. The only thing in the store. So, I grabbed it. <laughs> it was just the one <laughs> there was nothing else in the store that day but this right here so this is just it just kind of i think they just randomly putting out the joanna parker stuff they just not putting it out for openings because they don't really uh know i think that joanna parker is popular is what i'm thinking so yeah anyway got one set of the christmas ornaments 
And then the very last thing that I picked up, you guys, is the penguin mug. Y'all, I wanted this. So I said, I need to get a penguin mug. I wanted it so bad, y'all. And it was so funny. I had gone to a home goods that I go into not a lot. Very seldom do I go to this home goods because it's one of those home goods where when the doors open, the women run in and in five minutes, everything is sold out. And those ladies are ruthless in that particular store, y'all. They will push you down to the ground if you are in their way for this stuff. <laughs> so anyway, I had gone in there, y'all. It was maybe 12 or one o'clock on Saturday. And I just went in there. It was nothing on the shelves. And I walked around, you know, looking at all the little cracks and corners just to see if I might see anything. And y'all, I walked by the storeroom door. And these babies were sitting on the tank, just to sitting there. And I was like, OMG. Gee, <laughs> it was four of them, y'all. So I asked the young lady that was working in that particular area if she could go in the storeroom and pick these up for me. I said, could you please go in there and get me those penguin mugs? And she was like, well, how many do you want? I said, I only need two. One for me and one for my uh, done buddy. So she said, okay. So y'all, she went to the back and she walked right by these penguin mugs, y'all. And y'all know what she picked up for me? more of these <laughs> y'all she handed me two more of these which i did not want so you know what one of these is for one of you guys that is right i am giving you guys a penguin canister if you are interested i wanted to hold this back and i wanted to give it to you guys for a thousand subscriber giveaway but I want you guys to have it before Christmas because, you know, after Christmas, you know, you won't be able to display it until next year. Now, you guys, I haven't made it to a, a thousand subscribers yet. I don't know if I'm going to get there by the end of the year, but I do know that I am going to get to a thousand subscribers, y'all. I'm not even worried about it. <laughs> I know I'm going to get there one day, but... I wanted you guys to have this penguin canister before Christmas. So I'm gonna leave this uh, giveaway open for about two weeks uh, because I wanna make it fair enough for everybody to have a chance to win, to watch the video, cause sometimes everybody don't watch the video, you know, on, you know, the weekend or the week, the day that it drops. So let's look at the calendar and see what date that is. That is going to be December 10th. So on December 10th, I will pick a winner and I will uh, make a video and let you guys know on December 11th. But I was so excited about that, y'all. I was really hoping that it was the little short, fat, you know, fat one, but... You know, like I say, beggars can't be cheesy. But anywho, back to the mud. <laughs> I was like, but can you go back and get me two of the penguin mugs? Y'all, do y'all know she walked right by these things at least two times. She walked over to the next tank and I kept saying, the penguin mugs. The penguin mugs. Y'all, they were right on the tank just like me. And y'all, she could and finally she spotted them y'all and I was like oh my god thank you because <laughs> I was like I really want a pink one mug but anywho you guys that is going to be it for today's video I hope y'all enjoyed the little shop with me portion of the video I hope y'all enjoyed seeing the things that I picked up now y'all um for the giveaway, you need to be a U.S. resident because the shipping is so expensive. And y'all, 
I cannot afford to ship things out of the state right now. It's already expensive just to ship things in the state but y'all know to ship it out of the state is just extremely you know expensive and right now i am not at that point so you must be a u.s resident you must be a subscriber to the channel and you must put in the description box dance like a penguin do, 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 do. <laughs> Y'all remember that song, Dance Like a Egyptian, is that, how, is that how it go? Hmm, I don't know. Anywho, Dance Like a Penguin. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a hot mess. But you must do those three things, y'all, in order to win the Penguin Canister. So that is going to be it, y'all. I hope you guys... So that is going to be it, y'all. Don't forget to be nice, be kind, be sweet to somebody. And as always, I hope you're having a great day and to a great week whenever you are viewing this video right here. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all. <laughs>